happens when somewhere the slice 17 for the influence are A. For the influence are A against seeing a handout and so influence are here. So pay attention. Because influence are A is the major string which causes the problem. And the following slides uh, model for influence are transmission. Primarily is through the aerosol and droplets and just pay attention. And this is roughly slice 25, human renovirus. <coughs> Uh, we're talking the more than 100 serotypes, and this is why the vaccination is not a, a possibility. Vaccination, vaccination. Someone is asking, vaccination. Immunology, yeah. Shots is not possible. It's not possible to develop the antibody. The vaccination. You mean immunodeficiency virus and pay attention to this one, which is uh, slice number 34. And the uh, human immunovirus called the retrovirus because of that enzyme reverse transcriptase. And it's a key character for this virus. And now we put it in the epidemiology, which is somewhere 39. And then I understand that. Transmission and how this stuff was transmitted. And this slide summer is uh, slice number forty one. And um, Pay attention to this symptom, Kaposi sarcoma. It's an ace of circulatory symptom. Diagnosis of the ACE. Pay attention to this slide must meet the following criteria. And uh, 57, some uh, preventing, I think is this one, preventing and treating HIV. 57, and uh, so the common way is to prevent this. 57, yeah. On your hand up, right? Or you just print it out, right? Yeah, on your hand out because it's different. It is different, yeah. It depends, it depends on, depends when you print it out, yeah. It's, it's okay, and uh, so, so same slides, as long as you get it. And uh, pay attention for all the QA and also the uh, concept check, and as always,
when you finish uh, what I have reviewed and uh, two points, uh, you need to do an overall review. And uh, I can tell you some questions, there is no way I can review it for you. And so it's a, it's a comprehensive and you need a little connection in there. And uh, there are always good students in here and standing them. So and stand the class, and eventually who is the best, that curves the class, so that's the situation you need to understand it, and uh, now the chapter 6, and, uh, chapter 6, uh, first lies the search for elusive viruses, and then pay special attention Louis Pasteur and see what is uh, his contribution. And for study the virus. And also pay attention to the following slides the position of the viruses in the biological spectrum. And uh, so viruses are obligated into cellular parasites and infect all the known cells. And uh, Pay attention to this slide, which have a general introduction for the structure of the virus. And uh, so, virus is not as complicated as bacteria. Basically, you have a covering and central core. Central core is genetic material. Some virus carries few proteins and enzymes in there. Not all the virus carries it, but the genetic material is always in there. Even the virus is not a living organism. And the coat. For protein code, all the virus has it, but some virus could have envelope, but not all the virus has envelope. So that's basically everything is already summarized in there. And uh, now the moving down. Function of viral capsid. Pay attention to what is the function of viral capsid. So that's the word capsid. Mm -hmm. And amyloid, capsid and amyloid. Yeah. And then the following slide is which is this one? And the forms of viral nucleic acid. Here, basically, you don't need to pay attention to this example. Basically, the forms just you know roughly virus can exist in any shape or form in terms of nucleic acid. So you only have DNA and RNA, you talk nucleic acid. But the DNA, you have double-stranded DNA, single-stranded DNA. RNA also have single-stranded RNA, double-stranded RNA. That's it. That's four form. All the form is possible for the virus. And uh, now the, when we're moving down to next the slides, pattern of genetic flow, but you don't need to exactly know this pattern of genetic flow. Just know these two asters. What it means a positive sense of genome and a negative sense of genome. That refers to the single-stranded RNA virus. What is positive sense of genome and negative sense of genome? For viral replication of infection, there are five different stages, not the sequence of events. And uh, so which one comes first and which one follows? And so absorption, penetration, replication, maturation, release, fight. So a little bit reading here, comparison between bacteria phage and animal virus, and uh, lots of this stuff is the same. And uh, pay attention to the stuff where it's different. The cell destruction probably in here is different because uh, phage is always destructed the cell immediately. And in host is delayed because the, the way the virus got out and the same bacteria delays the cell and the animal they body. Uh, and, uh, and also for penetration, which is different. In 
phase the should the DNA in, the should the nucleic acid in, in animal, they always load the whole virus in. That's because of the cell wall. And um, the animals do not have cell wall, they can always load in from the soft tissue. Bacteria have reached the cell wall, they have to shoot the stuff in. And uh, now the Summer, this terminology, and uh, let's pay attention to this terminology. What is uncurtain oncovirus page? Pro page. Pro virus lysogen. Uh, and uh, the characters of prion and the virus. And, uh, this is uh, animal in our condition. Basically, they, they use this stuff as a choice for cultivation of virus. Animal and uh, that is slice animal in ovulation. And then the following slice, the most common choice, if it's uh, applicable, they always use the bird embryo, but it has to be fertilized for the embryo. That's chapter six. And now we move on to. Let's go back to fall. And, uh, so number four. First, you need to know the universal entity for for prokaryotes. So, so basically, what distinguishes the prokaryotes from eukaryotes? Have nucleus or no nucleus? A member bond organism, no member bond organism. The information is right in there. Biology. Yeah, it could be number seven or six. And, uh, so yeah, it's not too far away from there. So. Oh, you don't have hand up, is it? Yeah, that, that's, that's the trouble, yeah. And, uh, but uh, later on, try to see some other students have their stuff. And, uh, Florian slides, uh, not not that one. Let me see what is, and probably is nine. And this one, cell envelope, uh, glycoclex. Uh, cell envelope include the glycoclex cell wall and cell membrane. There's three stuff. Let me see. Let's pay attention to that. Take a look. All right, and then the bacterial appendages, and uh, so, and the uh, three. Bacterial appendage, pay attention to the function. And so, what's the function of flagellum? What's the function of the family? What's the function of pelvis? Function. And uh, bacterial cell envelope, and this is the stuff I pointed out before, and here is another slide. So, you include like after cell wall and cell membrane. Pay attention to this slide of glycoplex. So, what's the function of the glycoplex? This slide is basically you want to know the peptidoglycan is the primary component of the cell 
wall for two bacteria. And that's the stuff actually gives the structure and form of the cell and also prevent the cell, prevent the cell from what? The burst or rapture. That's it. And so now the next story would be summer down 27 and uh, uh, the key components of the cell wall in different organisms. If someone asks you to distinguish the different organisms based on nothing but cell wall, and so this slide will help you how. And, uh, summer, probably I skipped this one, and uh, this slide gives you a brief summary for the key difference between gram house and gram negative. And, uh, Pay attention. Key difference between brand calcium and brand negative. And then the next slide will be somewhere in slide 30 number one, the non-typical cell wall, and then so this one. Non-typical cell wall, and then so Prime calcium, prime negative, that's a typical cell wall. Typical cell wall. You have bacteria which do not have cell wall, macrophages. And then archibacteria do not have peptidoglycans. And acid fast bacteria, that's macrobacteria and narcadia, which has uh, alcoholic acid and uh, overall this. And, uh, now the move down to slide number 45. Yeah, this this chapter there is no change, and so basically what is in there? Mesosome and what is the mesosome? What is mesosome? And mesosome and what is the function of mesosome? Basically, just this brief information in there. And then, the next one moves on to uh, fifty one, which is plasmid. is plasmid and uh, so what is plasmid? Pay attention to that uh, first uh, sentence and panel in there, plasmid, mm -hmm. remember. And I didn't use QA or something in here to enforce this. And uh, plasmid is not essential for bacteria growth and metabolism. Plasmid is the DNA but it's not essential. So anything, any genes on the chromosome which is essential, that's why the bacteria can afford to lose or gain plasma, and so it's not essential, which is a circular extra chromosome of DNA. But in the following slides, what is conjugation? This terminology, which is related with the plasmid. You can imagine what is conjugation. Conjugation is plasmid transfer from one cell to another through the pilots, that's it. And uh, so that's conjugation. And uh, so if you have plasmid, uh, and, uh, or you, if you have pilots, you, you, you usually have conjugations. And, uh, not that one, the endosphore. Everything is the endosphore. 55. <laughs> and also pay attention to 58, just the general terminology. What is carcass, bacillus, and sterilum means? That's common sense for bacteria. And, uh, and also, the arrangement of bacteria cell. Also, there is common sense in there. What is a strep stuff? And uh, so those terminology related with the arrangement of the cell, nothing else but the arrangement of the cell. And, uh, Now all the way down to the slide 71, mm -hmm. which is classification. And, uh, what the feature and the categories they use for classifying like you. And the next is the 75, the major taxonomic groups of the Bacteria, and you have uh, three divisions, uh, four divisions, yeah. 
gram positive or gram negative dissolvers in there. And you have one is the bacteria. And the only one which is probably you need to pay attention is mycoplasma, which do not have cell wall. Then the following slides, three, so not this one. Uh, let me see what is uh, That's division 75 and 76, and strings on the right. Oh, this uh, 78. Three smallest medically important mm -hmm. bacteria. How to distinguish them? Mycoplasma can grow in vitro, that means artificially we can culture them. That's a uh, carrier. Okay. And then the rickettsia and the climatis can be distinguished through alternate host or do not have alternate host. And uh, now we can move on to chapter 5. The first slide you need to pay attention is uh, slide number 12. And we have the cell organelle in there. And uh, so the, when we go through this stuff, basically we talk about the primary function. But you need to pay special attention to what is the Golgi apparatus, the function of Golgi apparatus. And also the function of praxisome. And also the function of lysosome. Other than the function of Golgi apparatus, praxisome, lysosome, and the, the unique difference between animal cell and plant cell is animal has a lysosome, plant has a chloroplast. They don't have the other way around. And the next one, move on to all the way to 29. And, uh, which is the characteristic of fungi, characteristics of fungi, and the three basic characters. And uh, the next one, following slide is uh, organization of fungi. This is most commonly used uh, terminology for fungi. And we, we didn't even talk about all the other terms in here, and so this is the stuff we don't know what it is. And, uh, and the next is um, 33, the reproductive strategy of fungi. And uh, so the fungus reproduce asexually and sexually. But about sexual reproduction, it's a fusion of metachytic. It's a fusion of chytic. And so that's the way to becomes deeper. And then the next is um, 35. You need to pay attention for both 35 and 36. These two slides talking the fungal spores. There are five spores, remember, two asexual, three sexual spores. And um, so those that spores names and so you need to know that sexual spores name anyway because sexual spores name is directly related with nothing but classification. Mm -hmm. I mean, the kingdom of fungi was subdivided into phylum based on nothing but the sexual spores. And so, having said that, we move all the way to 36 and uh, not. Uh, not yeah, 36 is the spore and then. Now, uh, I think it's uh, 43. So now, all the way to 43. So knows that 35, 36, and the 5 spore. And then, fungal classification is directly related with that uh, sex of the spores. Fungus forms the zygospore called the zygomacoda. Forms the basidian spore called the basidian macoda. Forms Ascospore called the ascomacoda. If any fungus does not have any of those spores, 
it belongs to the phylum Deuteromacota. And the, the fungus in the Deuteromacota is the fungus do not have called the sexual stage or perfect stage, what they call it. So those fungus, they also called imperfect, not perfect fungi, which include penicillin and aspergillus. Penicillin and aspergillus. Next, uh, would be 45, that is uh, a different organism called a lichen, which is a symbiotic organism. It is a fungus and a photosynthetic bacteria or algae. Pay attention to the last two sentences in here. And this algae is always produce carbohydrate. And the fungi provide the whole plast. That's the function in each of this partner. And also the fungi, fungi, which forms the lichen is always coming from ascomasis. Ascomasis means ascomacota. That means the fungus forms the ascospores is the ones always plays a partner in lichens. And uh, I'll move on to slide number 50, and this is basically tells you what is a protista. Protista is basically divided into two subkingdoms, allergy, protozoa. The major difference is listed right in here on this slide. And uh, That's pretty much it. And so, then the next story is uh, see you next Wednesday. And uh, so, no, the Wednesday next after after next and uh, two weeks from now. And bring in two scan and uh, so.